These are some pretty nice sheets of plywood, man. Yeah. I mean, I guess they should be for 59 American dollars. Yeah. How many you need? And 20 cents. What's the deal with the 20 cents? I guess you just had to ring me out one more time. Well, the actual plan for today is we got to do something about upper filming? cabinets. Yeah, I'm doing Oh, I didn't even know filming. you. Hey, what? Man, you got to give me some heads up. What? <laughs> I don't need no heads up. All right, so we're going to have some upper cabinets here. We're going to have uh, one above the stove that's going to go here, and then we're going to have one on each side of it, and then one over here above that one that's going to be beside the refrigerator. Okay. Luckily we can reuse some of these. So I didn't have very many lower cabinets, so we couldn't really reuse a lot of those. No, but. But we can these. So I only need three uh, and they need to be two feet wide. So I got two 30 inches, one here, and then one over here that I took down at some point. I don't know where that one came from. So we're gonna take these down and then cut them down to size, put them back together, should be easy. We always say that. I know. We oh, it'll be easy. It'll only take about two hours. Right. Two months later. Yeah. You told me we were building cabinets today. Yeah. Those aren't cabinets. Well, Those are metal shelves. These are temporary cabinets. <laughs> <laughs> temporary cabinets? Yeah. So here's Becca's side. She's got some nice glasses, some, you know, some uh, mason jars. And then here's Ray's side. <laughs> you got bosses. You got United Kingdom, United Community plastic, and you got a Sashko water bottle and a LP water bottle. Dude, that's all you Becca's right rays. Becca's rays. <laughs> so essentially our kitchen is becoming more cluttered at this point. I didn't have the drawers installed on the lower cabinets when we started because I was still painting them. But now that they're installed, we have more space than we know what to do with. We're basically tripling our cabinet space with a new cabinet, so all of this is going to be worth it. At least that's what I keep telling Becca. And you said these little jars were useless. Look at that. Yeah, Becca's not gonna be happy you did that. <laughs> I'm glad I could save on the cost of material by reusing these cabinets, but to be honest, I didn't do any planning on how I was gonna cut them down to size. And unfortunately, it caused some problems. This, this stick on tile is uh, it's reusable, man. You can just take a piece. Stick it, stick it wherever you want. Yeah. You need some? It's like modern, you can, modern art. You can have it all if no, you want. I mean, I mean Stephanie would probably love it, but I'm not a big fan. Okay, so we got our cabinets down here. The next step that we need to do is we need to just, you know, just take a sawzall to them and just... No, I'm kidding. Oh, uh, we need, we do need to cut them down to size, though. Okay. So, pretty much all we are going to do is we're going to just cut them at 24 and a half and uh, reattach it. So Ooh. should be simple. After Jason and I tossed around a couple of ideas on what was going to be the easiest way to do this, we finally settled on one. Let me ask you a question though. Have you ever had one of those days where it seems like your brain's not even running on half its cylinders? That was that day for me. Luckily I had Jason though, right? Well, he was having one of those days too. Okay, so we had to come up with a game plan. Were you, so, were you so shocked by the camera for today, man? I don't know, it's man. just like getting weirded out when I turn and it's like pointing right in my face. I got no like heads up. Dude, I, we <laughs> never give each other a heads up. <laughs> anyway, yeah. we got uh, we did a little bit of game planning because it's not as easy as just being like, oh, let's just cut this here. The problem we ran into is this piece right here. So, you know, this is going to be a two-foot cabinet. A uh, question that we debated was whether we would use two doors or one door. Um, we decided to go with two doors, even though it's going to make it a little, little bit narrower, it's only going to be an inch in on each side. Yeah. So that's not that big of a yeah, deal. Not at all. But in order to keep this thing at center, you know, there's all sorts of ways that we could have gone about doing that. Mm -hmm. Jason had the great idea of just let's cut in both sides and then smashing it back together. So that's what we're going to do. But we got to save. Yeah, the face that's frame. the thing is that we can't just go hacking it right. like we've done before. It's got to be precision, and that's where I come in. Jason didn't really want to trust himself with the cuts, and to be honest, neither did I. All right, so what we did here is uh, we knew we were going to have to eliminate some of this material, so Dre just took the buzz saw and just buzzed this off. So now we're just going to take this whole panel off 
very gently, gently on both sides, cut off what we need, and then just right slam it back in. Yeah. So this is particle board, so that's why we got to do it gently. Yeah. That's what. Does anybody know what particle board really is? I don't know, but I think it's just like sawdust just glued together. I think what, that's what it is. I'm plan on doing with all this stuff here, dude. We got tons of particle board. Anybody need particle board? Come to Ray's house. Yeah. I'll glue it for you. I'll give you the address. It's 555. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Maybe I can make some particle board cutting boards with all the sawdust I'm collecting. After we removed the sides, it was time to plan out where the rest of the cuts needed to be made for the rest of the cabinet to equal 24 inches. And this was the first real brain fart of the morning. Just wait. It's coming. A little pickle we're in here, I guess, is that we're trying to... We got our number on the top of where we want to cut it, but now we need to cut a line all the way around the cabinet so yeah. when you know in thinking about it i guess jones is like the only way really to do it is just to kind of transfer that line all the way through which is kind of a pain that you know what but yeah. you don't really have a table saw big enough to <laughs> cut all that off no. uh, jamie got anything so here's the problem the line that i transferred around was for the face frame what I didn't take into account was that the top and bottoms of the cabinet box, along with all the shelves, needed to be 7 eighths of an inch longer because the sides are inset that much on the styles of the frame. So this happened. We got her all cut down to size and you know, I was doing some thinking before we actually cut it because I was like, you know, I th I'm wondering if this needs to be actually longer. I was afraid of cutting it too short and then I was like, ah, it's fine. But it's not. So the face frame is right, but problem is we cut everything else too short. I, mean, I don't think anyone's gonna know. Who's gonna know? Well, <laughs> anybody who opens the cabinet is gonna know. So uh, essentially we wasted all that time and uh, the only thing right is the face frame. So we scrapped that cabinet, but kept the face frame and moved on to the next one. We were pretty defeated at this point. We went to our other plan, which was to only cut one side and move the middle style to where it needed to go. Both of our minds were pretty fried at this point from thinking about all the correct measurements for everything. So Jason went to go get lunch. Everything turned out fine on this one though, after learning from our mistake. We got one done. So, it's We've like- We've been working for five hours. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we did other things too. Yeah. Anyway, um, we did this one way different than we did the other one, but uh, I think this was the way to go. Yeah, I think so. Definitely was easier. We just got to do uh, one more, but it doesn't have the centerpiece, so it's good. Have I mentioned in this video yet that I'm tired of building cabinets? This next one was only 18 inches and didn't have a middle style, so it was as easy as cutting one side off and reattaching it making sure that we left seven eighths of an inch extra on the top and bottom panels. Dude, we're done. I don't think we've done anything right the first time today. I never thought I'd actually want to be out building a pole <laughs> barn instead of doing this. Like that's uh, like manual hard. This is brain hard. Yeah. And dude, I don't do brain hard very well. No, we're having a really off day too, man. It's like, yeah, we're on the struggle bus. <laughs> We're on the struggle bus, so I mean the fact that it's two o'clock and we've struggled this long and haven't just said screw it, let's start again. And then on another Jones day. tells me to cut something sixteen and <laughs> sixteen fifteen. What do I do? Fifteen and fifteen. So yeah. now the shelves are too short. Yeah, uh, it's alright. It's alright. We just gotta we gotta do it again. Hey, some other tomorrow's day. another day. Yeah, we're not working on Saturday. No. Next Friday is another day. <laughs> hey, so let's take a minute right now to thank our sponsor for today's video, High C. We've been wearing these High C boots for a couple weeks now, and I have to say, I'm super impressed. I've been rocking this Mock Toe safety boot, and I really like them. They're lightweight, durable, and super comfortable. And I've been wearing the safety working boots, which come in either steel toe or soft toe. One of the benefits that I like about these boots is that they have extra padding around the ankle to make it super comfortable when you are working and moving around a lot. Hey, some other great features about these boots are that they're slip and heat resistant, they're waterproof, and they're 100% leather. And they also offer a lifetime warranty, which we think is fantastic. If you'd like to check out these boots, visit the link in our description. And if you like discounts, use our code RAYJ to get 20% off of these boots. We'd like to thank Hi C again for sponsoring this video. You guys like uh, boot models now? Look at you <laughs> standing there like...
can't, can't help they look good on us. Ah, they do look good. I'm a little jealous of those boots. You should be. <laughs> so it's the next week. <laughs> And we're building cabinets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay. today's a different day. Yeah, it is. And if last week sucked. Yeah, it sucked. Yeah. So we're open that we have our heads on straight today. <laughs> and uh, we can get this get this right this time. So the first thing that we need to do well, is oh. In our defense, I mean we got them right. Yeah, yeah. We did. Well, except for one. Well, but I'm saying we're gonna get it right, but it just <laughs> took us all day long <laughs> to do two. Two cabinets. Yeah. So yeah. we're hoping that that's not the case today is what we're hoping for. Right. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remake this one that we really screwed up. I ended up just taking measurements from the one we converted correctly since these two were identical. Rebuilding this one ended up being more time consuming because of all the rabbit joints we had to route out for all the connections. I'm more convinced I need a router table at this point. I've got some ideas for how I'm going to go about making one before I make the doors. So we got all of our pieces routed out. Now we're going to try to put this thing together and hope that uh, it goes well. Now I kind of freehand, well I didn't kind of, I definitely <laughs> freehand routed uh, all these, but we don't know how that's going to work in the end because they're not exactly straight. But I think it'll be fine. As long as you don't put anything in the shelf that can roll, I mean... I think you'll be all right. <laughs> just put a glass in here and be like, why are all the glasses on one side of the cabinet? Don't worry about it, honey, just grab one. We glued and shot this one together and put the back panel on. Everything turned out fine. We only had time for this one that day though. The only one left is the refrigerator box cabinet, which was gonna be built out of all new lumber. You ever see that movie Groundhog Day? Uh, I've seen it, yeah. Like every day he wakes up and the same thing's going on? Yeah. So every time I come over here, that's what I feel like. I got smart this time. Yeah. Even though this is like technically the last cabinet that we're building, I decided to sketch this one up, <laughs> which is what I should have been doing this whole time. But you know, sometimes you get a little confident. Yeah. In thinking that you know what you're doing. Yeah. I don't know what made me think I was confident because I've never built cabinets before. Yeah. But anyway. I got this, yeah, I don't yeah. need no sketch up. So I sketched it up, so everything should be Super simple, just take the measurements of what this is. I already measured the refrigerator like three times, so I know it fits in there. So it's pretty much just two sides, the top and bottom for the cabinet, face frame. That sounds simple enough. Should be simple. We should have this done in 30 minutes. Let's find out. <laughs> 30 minutes uh, YouTube 30 time. minutes? YouTube time. Yeah, YouTube time. That's like four <laughs> days for us. I really should have sketched up all the cabinets, but the problem I'm running into with this whole project is time. There just never seems to be enough of it. It probably would have saved me some time to actually have a plan though. So we got all of our plywood pieces cut down. One problem that we run into quite often though is that I don't know if you can see that, but that was kind of ripped at a bevel, which- Not on purpose. Not on purpose. That happens with our saw over here. And I don't know if it's just our saw or what, but every time we move this thing, this thing kind of gets knocked around quite a bit and then it ends up sliding around and we forget to check it every time. And we need to be better at doing that because it's caused a problem quite a few times. Yeah. But that's okay because we can put this side here on the back. And we are gonna route this side because it's in the back and that's where the quarter inch plywood is gonna go. And we're gonna make sure that we actually route out the short point of that bevel that way we don't actually take out the material that we need on that side so no problem building this one was really a lot simpler and like i said earlier all the measurements were already in sketchup so it didn't really require a lot of thinking while we were building it and thankfully this was the last cabinet i needed to build for the whole kitchen so there was a lot of relief knowing that the end to this whole cabinet saga is almost over man Doing this thing in SketchUp, I mean, it came out awesome. It's perfect, man. It's perfect. I feel like we should like go back and rebuild all the other ones. No, they're they're perfect now too. They are. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just it was a struggle. <laughs> Getting from point A to point B was a little yeah. bit of a struggle. This yeah, this cool. one's freaking banging. Jamie Perkins ain't got nothing on me now. No CNC what? <laughs> so now that we have all the cabinets built, all of them. 
done, built. The uh, next step is to prep them for paint, which I might be going a little crazy, but I'm actually gonna have Jason help me with that. Just to help usually speed this you, up, man. This is usually when you tell me to go home. I know, I know. It's only 11 o'clock though. I'm getting really hungry. <laughs> Make sure you get that hole right there. <laughs> yeah, I'll fill that up all right. <laughs> I got it. We filled anything that needed to be with wood filler, and I may have had to go back over spots that Jason had done, but don't tell him. I'm not gonna paint these right now. I'm actually gonna paint them after they're installed, which is what we're gonna do next. So I was at home the other day and I was thinking, man, I think I lost some of my Dewalt batteries because like I only had like two or three. Yeah. Um, but I don't think I lost any of them. I think I found them. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I need them, dude. And I have like two, and Martha uses them both for her blower, so <laughs> I really have none in my house. I need them, man. Uh, okay, I mean, can I borrow like maybe one or two? One. One. You can have one with your name on it. We have the cabinets up here, and we're gonna install them today. So I'm gonna do these different. I'm not gonna spray these. I'm going to roll them with a foam roller, which I touched up a lot of these when I got them up here yeah. and you can't even tell the difference. Okay. So I think it's gonna be fine. We gotta get the big refrigerator box up here, which is going big boy. over there. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna install that. And uh, hopefully this all goes hopefully it fits. well. It'll fit. Through the door. Oh shoot. Yeah, it'll fit. It'll fit. We got the big refrigerator box cabinet upstairs and noticed our first problem, which really wasn't that big of a deal. So the first thing that we realized whenever we went to put the uh, refrigerator box in is that there's no way for this thing to secure to any studs in the wall over here. And that's because we didn't add any uh, horizontal pieces in the back for it to screw into. The cabinets over here, they all have that. Uh, but we failed to realize that we needed to add them there. So we're gonna do that, no big deal. Just cut a couple pieces and bang them in there. So we cut a couple pieces and put them at the top and bottom of the cabinet and then slid it back into place so that we could secure it against the floor and the wall. All right, so a couple things whenever we are installing this. One, we're going to put some pocket all screws in the bottom, that way we can secure it down to the floor. That way these things aren't flapping, which this one will be fine. It's this one that we're worried about because there's nothing that this one's gonna connect to. So we're gonna put some holes in there first, but we're not gonna put the screws in there because the floor is not level. But we want this to be level. And this needs to be pushed back here in order to match this frame, which is level. We've already checked that. So we're gonna we're going to hold off on the screws but we're gonna go ahead and put the holes in because once we screw this into the face frame, there's no getting underneath it after that. So that's first step. Yeah, good catch on that one. Yeah. So we got our pocket holes drilled and then started attaching the face frames to each other. So like Ray said, so we have these all screwed in, the faces are screwed together and it is off the ground a little bit just because of the floor. So all we did now is we had our pocket holes, we just put some shims under there and then he screwed it to the floor. So that thing ain't going, well, maybe right there. Yeah. And that's gonna get tightened up once we screw in the top. So we got the front to back plumb, but now we need to make sure that the box is level because of the floor. Right. So um, it wasn't 100% level at first. So we went ahead and shimmed up that other side there, got it level, so we're level, we're plumb. Now we can go ahead and find our studs and attach the back. So because we're remodeling this house, Nothing is level, <laughs> nothing is. And that's, it's, it's, that's quite a bit unlevel just in, in this area right here. But you know, you can either go with what the floor is right now, or you can make everything look level. And that's what we decided to do with all these cabinets and with this one as well. So I think this is the best way to go rather than just putting everything on the floor and making it match the floor. Yeah, that would not be good. Yeah. Hey, what are you looking for? Stud finder. Oh, got it. Come on, bro. You know where that's at. I'm right here, baby. I did get some crap last time we were doing this that I didn't make a joke about the stud finders. So I guess I had to make a joke about the stud finder. Now we could go ahead and attach it back to the studs. All right, so Joan's got the top attached and she's sturdy. So now the last thing is, is this 
sidewall, which I guess is just hanging pretty much. And we didn't put a level on it. No. No. What we did is we measured the gap at the top, and then Joan just made sure the gap at the bottom is the same because level's great, but if you put the fridge in there and the gaps on the fridge look different, it's going to look totally stupid. But it should be level. <laughs> it because should. Because all of these were level. That side. Uh-oh. And we have not level. tested this yet. We have not tested this yet. That's pretty good. Wow. That's pretty banging. That's pretty good. Nice. That's pretty good. So we got level and our gap is the same, which is a double whammy. That's even nice. And we got plum. 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 Not level. Plum, not level. Sorry, guys. Don't yell at us. <laughs> plum. We really do know what plum means, yeah. but just in the you know the in the working flow, sometimes words just come out. It's like the you know plywood is everything. OSB, OSB is, is yeah, is, all that exactly. So, so we know we we, know. we promise. And the last thing for this cabinet was to go ahead and shim the bottom and put the pocket hole screws through the floor. Next thing we're going to do is put this one in. So this one is going to go right here next to the refrigerator. And I've got my wiring here for the under cabinet lighting, which I... Which we put in like... Yeah, that was like months and months and months and months and months ago. But it turns out that it works out perfectly to where all we're gonna have to do is drill a hole right here, which is exactly where I wanted the hole and the light to come out. So we got lucky. We got lucky. So we we're gonna luck, bro. We planned it all out. <laughs> I guess. You planned it all out from the from the get go. I so. did I did plan it all yeah, out. Yeah, so uh so we're going to drill that hole and then we're going to screw this cabinet up here and this whole section will be done. It's starting to look more and more like a kitchen. This one was pretty straightforward. Because the refrigerator box was leveled, this one all we had to do was slam it tight to it and screw it in studs. All right. We've got that one in now. So the next step is to put the one above the stove and the two that are going to go on each side of that. So one thing that we're doing to make sure that the tops are all level across is we've got our laser line here and we are just, instead of putting the laser line to the very top of these and leveling it all across, we are just measuring down from the side to our laser line, which is about five and an eighth. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna measure up from this line, five and an eighth, and that's gonna be the top of all the cabinets. So we're working on this cabinet above the stove, and the biggest thing with this one is that this is dictating the space of the other two cabinets. So what Ray's doing is he's just leveling up from, obviously, our established base cabinets, leveling up, and that's where we want that one to fall. And once we get that one in, then obviously the other two will just go bang, bang tight to the other side. So not only is the height crucial, but the left and right is also crucial. I'm getting this one in. And then he's just gonna go back after the fact and route out for that uh, outlet. He made marks for that, so. All right, you ready, kid? Yeah. All right, let's do it. And these were pretty straightforward to install as well. We screwed them into the studs first, and then we screwed the face frames together. The main question, though, is what is the boss gonna think? All right, what do you think? I think it's awesome. Yeah? I am so excited. It's starting to look more like a kitchen, huh? More like a kitchen. Um, loving the open shelving concept. There's, well, I still gotta do the doors. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna have our actual open shelves here. Right. And I think it's gonna look amazing. Yeah. So good. It's getting there. It, it is, I mean, I have things in drawers. You do? I mean, most of our stuff already fits in here, which means I get to buy more stuff. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for this episode. The next step is to make the drawers, but first I need to build my routing table. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.